right, hey guys. If you saw yesterday's video, you'll know that I came down to one of my local spots. I was uh, trying to catch some bait, which I did, and um, I had a little unexpected fun. I ended up uh, catching a bluegill on my light rod here, and as I was reeling him in, a huge bass came up and uh, attacked the bluegill. And I didn't have the proper tackle, so what ended up happening was um, the bass tore the bluegill off, swallowed it, and I ended up um, not catching the bass. So I couldn't help myself. I came back today, and uh, I'm going to see if I can catch that bass. I'm not sure if he's still around. I'm not sure if he's hungry. Um, but I got my light rod again, a little hook, dug up a couple of worms in my yard, and I'm going to try to catch another bluegill. I'm about 30 yards uh, from the spot where I caught the or saw the bass yesterday. So I'm gonna try to get another bluegill, just like what happened yesterday, and then I'm gonna put him on a bigger hook and uh, go over there and try to recreate what happened yesterday, except hopefully catch the bass. So, got just a tiny piece of worm on the little hook. If you use too big a piece, they'll just grab the back end and rip it off the hook and you won't get it. getting bites but they're just stealing my worms. They just keep getting me. At this rate I'm going to be out of worms. I'm going to have to resort to my cast net, which is fine. Perfect. Just what we need. So now I'm going to switch this guy out, put him on a bigger hook, go try for that big bass. All right, this guy looks just perfect. I would have liked to have gotten a couple of them, but I was having a really hard time. Uh, they were just stealing my worms and wasn't catching any. So I'm going to, I'm going to put this guy on here. I'm going to try a treble hook. It's not something I use very often. And uh, I'm gonna basically try to recreate exactly what I did yesterday. I'm gonna hook this guy through the mouth and I'm gonna go over there and uh, reel him in and uh, see if uh, that same bass is there and hungry. And if he is, this time I ought to be able to get him. We shall see.
I can't believe that actually worked. I got it. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, what a monster. Maybe I got a little carried away yesterday. Biggest bass I've ever seen, but this is a big bass, man. Look at this thing. Look at the mouth on him. No wonder he was able to take that video camera. That's amazing. I didn't think it was gonna be that easy, honestly. I can't believe that worked. All right, well, I'm gonna get a quick picture and I'm gonna get this beautiful fish back in the water. I can't believe that actually worked out according to plan. Let's get this little beauty back in there. Alright, buddy, let's. He's only been out of the water for a minute. He should be. Oh, yeah, he is fine. Look at that. Wow. Huh. That's crazy. Mission accomplished. I can't believe that actually worked out. He was right there, still hungry, just like yesterday. Had a bluegill on there, and he came up and slammed that thing. I was watching the bluegill when it happened too. That was really cool. So yeah, he's back in the water. Um, he'll live to eat another day. And uh, that really didn't take long. So 